Welcome back, my friends. Are you ready to meet the malevolent mastermind, Dr. Mobius? The fellow who was behind the horrifying armies of rad scorpions plaguing our adventures until now. Well, I am ready to see if he is in this zone that is forbidden to us. I'm sure he's in here somewhere. That's not him, is it? Okay. <gasps> there he is! I was expecting him to be, like, up there, maybe, but hi! Mobius! 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 I'm out of floor space for my calculations! Mo Mobius! No, wait! Hang on! I want to speak with you! Mobius! Mobius! Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Yeah! I forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Can I fix it? Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Oh, you poor would thing. Would you care for a mentat? Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. I love him. Thank you. Yes, please. I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. Oh. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You poor thing. Um. You are not exactly what I was expecting. I'm going to keep going with these options because I like him. I want to be nice to him. I don't really want to tell him I defeated his scorpion. I don't want to tell him I want to fight him. Why is there only one nice option? Like, yeah, you're not what I was expecting. Actually, okay, this is pretty close to what I was expecting because he's adorable. Have you listened to him over the loudspeakers? Like, yeah, okay, he sent an army of scorpions after us. Yeah, okay, he killed me several times with a giant scorpion. Guys, that's besides the point. He's adorable. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? Oh, no, honey, you're exactly After how. All, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. No, 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 you're perfect. You're perfect. You were perfect. You were perfect. Why did you take my brain? Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quite special. I love and him. not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Wait, we can't? Isn't that what you're doing? Kind of? I mean, I guess you have a robot thing, body. It's not a body, it's a it's a thing. Um, okay. Uh, is that a problem? Why is that a problem, hmm? I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, boy. But... Um... Okay. 
let's see if we can ask him a few questions first. I mean, I feel like maybe I can fix his monitor either with my science skill. It's probably a science skill check, but we also have repair. I feel like we should be able to fix that for him maybe. And then he would be like our BFF. I just want to help him. I think he's adorable. I'm curious about some things, Dr. Mobius. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. <laughs> oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Oh. Uh -huh. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, yes. I saw repair and I was immediately like, oh, that's got to be it. I can't fix your monitor, but if you're getting ghost reception, I can fix that. <gasps> Am I going to fix the flying tortoises for him? The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Oh, bless you. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good, good, better. Oh, oh, yes, that feels wonderful. <laughs> This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. I want to hug him. Can you tell me about your Robo Scorpions, Dr. Mobius? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the dessert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. Oh my How gosh. scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Oh, good. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data-drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Oh. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. You are absolutely adorable. I'm curious about some things about you. I find things curious as well. Go on. You don't seem aggressive. Why do you broadcast threats? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. <laughs> Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! Oh, boy. So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Okay. Well, uh, it sounds like you built the Robo Scorpions issued threats to keep the think tank occupied? Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Okay. So, hang on. He's, like, forgotten his master plan, yeah? But... The way that was worded, it sounds like he's doing all of this to keep them busy, and he says he can't let them leave for ethical reasons. Wait a minute, is he doing all of this? Did he leave the think tank and become, like, big bad of their nightmares or something so that they would have to stay here and maybe not continue unleashing horrific things upon the world, such as... Kazdors and Night Stalkers? Is Mobius the good guy? Was I right the whole time thinking he was cute and cool? Because I think he sounds like he's actually the good guy and his plan all along was to keep the world safe from the other brains. I knew it, guys. I knew he was the best. I didn't know why he was the best, but I knew he was the best. Everything you told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Hmm, it sounds like you forgot your master plan. I'm surprised you don't remember... I'm surprised you remember your own name. So why are we talking about his name now? 
I'm gonna go with the top option about it not adding up. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I, although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. That is so cute! I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the Think Tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. You reprogrammed their names as a part of a recursion loop to trap their processors. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. <laughs> I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Oh my gosh. So he did, he trapped them. Tell me about why you trapped them, Dr. Mobius. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't uh -huh. really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan C's in place. I love but him. I have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here, or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan B's in case the A's fail. So now he does remember his plan. So Klein, Mobius, O's the circle, eight's an infinity symbol, and they're all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but... Sometimes they would take things too far. He is talking and so clear the world right now. Isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Quiet professional. I love how he gets little words confused. Minor detail, but a snake devouring its own tail is an Orboros, not. Ouroboros. I'm not gonna say that to him. He's adorable. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should, because, like, I'm not gonna call him a name. Uh, I guess I'll just ask the question, then. If you lobotomized the think tank, then why have you continued to terrorize them? Well, we know why. To keep them busy. And like he said, they keep testing things. And taking things too far. And the world's not ready for their too far thing taking. So they needed to be preoccupied with a theoretical villain with robo scorpions to keep them contained. Like, it makes perfect sense. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, <laughs> then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. 
bacteria finally able to see its host. I love him. Okay, let's see. There were other visitors, though, so why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. I see. Kind of. Oh, is it the cranial injury from the attack outside Good Springs? I mean, I can tell him this, but he's going to be like, what's a Good Springs? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you know. Uh, also, apparently you can get to the same conclusion with guns. So, okay. Um, are perceptions too low? I should have had a breath freshening mentat before talking to him, but that's totally fine. Yeah, I do have a cranial injury, though. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other way around. Hmm, Mentats. <laughs> in any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours was a light case of bullet headitis. <laughs> but it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial selves into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... I see. So, if I don't get my brain back in my head, then I cannot leave ever. Yeah. I guess I'll just... Start with that. We do have an intelligence option down here. Klein said they had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. Let's go ahead and ask that one, actually. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. I'm so sorry. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, Pardon my language. All those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. That's what I thought. So, was there any other data transmitted in your broadcast? I wonder if he'll be able to tell us. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. Oh, wow. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. I love you. I want to be best friends forever. So tell me about the purpose of the technologies. I mean, I know the purpose of the technologies, but let's ask him about it. I love when he explains things. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. 
The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. Really? In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. <laughs> they had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. I'm not sure that's how the story went, my guy, but okay. Um, so they downloaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Oh. That means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. No, no, let me help you. Can I help you? Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Yes. I don't want to, I don't want to say that. Like, is that the only thing I can say? I'm not going to fight him. If I've done something wrong at some point that's forcing me into this option and that I only am able to do this, I mean, maybe I can say this and then maybe I cannot fight him, but if I've somehow locked myself into this, I may have to figure out what I've done wrong because I really don't want to fight Mobius. And I probably can't leave the DLC until I have like actual closure. So I might have to, to do that if I don't figure out something okay i mean it's probably fine i really doubt the game is gonna force me into killing him um it's probably fine right right it's probably fine i'm i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna kill you but they sent me here to kill you Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my bio gel, <laughs> I wished I had been. Oh, bless you. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. I'm not going to kill you. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. Oh boy. Um, I'm not gonna fight you, dude. Like, you mean your scorpions? Your minions? Whoa, have they not constructed themselves yet? <laughs> That's a bit premature of me. The Robo Scorpions, of course. Of course. They can assemble themselves from floor panels and parts scattered about. Quite inventive. Never really know when they might suddenly appear. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. I see that they've Minions spawned in. To me! <laughs> oh, bless you. That was so good! Oh, yes. That's quite a bit better. Oh, that was quite a bit better, this yes. This one looks pretty tough. So is he hostile now, or...? Yes, he is. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do something. Um, no. I'm not gonna do this. We're not doing this right now. No. I'm not really sure why that was the option I was given. Are they not coming out here after me? Little scorpions? No? Is it possible for me just to retrieve my brain and leave? Perhaps I should have asked... Cessation of hostilities complete. Perhaps I should have asked him why I could not leave without my brain instead Ready? of using some of the Steady. other options. Mobius! Is he using a stealth boy right now? He's like... invisible. That's cool. And this thing is, like, about to break. I'm aware. Okay. Um, well, guys, I'm really not satisfied with the way this is going. Because that whole conversation, the only out option that I saw that I had was to initiate combat with him. And even after talking to him the whole time... I mean, maybe I'm just dumb and I missed it, but I really didn't see... I really didn't see any other option preventing presenting itself. See, look, I'm like him now. 
I mean, I was always like him. I use the wrong words sometimes, like he does. He's like the most relatable character. I don't want to fight him. Are you joking me? Let's look at the quest. Let's look at the quest. Satisfy his curiosity about what it's like to be killed. I don't want to do that. Um, is this like... Seriously? Oh, he's not invisible anymore. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back in there and get my brain. Fighting over. Oh, is he going back inside? That's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take... Um... We're gonna take a stealth boy like he did. I'm also going to enjoy a super stim pack. Ready, steady, fighty. And then hopefully this will just make me like able to avoid him a little bit. Hi, sweetie pie. You just hang out out here, baby. Okay. Okay, whoa, hi. Dudes, please. Please, I'm, I'm here for, like, something more important than you. Okay, this is not great. So them being all at the doorway is not great. Um, Probably the best way out of this, because I don't mind killing his toys. He can make new ones. I just don't want to kill him specifically. So I'm going to take rushing water and turbo and make sure I have this equipped. And we're going to go do punching as much as possible. This is not going well. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fast, fast, fast. Hit them fast. Hit them faster. This is not fast enough. Does that feel better? I mean, it kind of does, girl, but like, we're having a crisis at the moment because I'm not gonna kill Moby. We're almost out of super stim packs, but it's worth it to take another one. It's also worth it to take a psycho and I mean come on guys at this point we're just a drug addict I'm taking so many Kims these days because these things are just so fighty Does that feel better? I mean kinda but like also this is awful to begin with why are you like this why are you like this huh please take this yeah thanks I don't want you to die yeah, okay, I think I can at least get past that one now. Run, 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 run. Come on now. I'll fight you if I can, all right? So, what are you, brain tank? Brain tank, hi. No? Is it snoring right now? Should I have spoken to that first? Maybe that's what I should have done. Come on now. I mean, I'm leaving him alive one way or another. I don't care how I get there, but it's happening. Okay. My leg is broken. Oh, his are stairs are watched? cool. I mean, probably. Hi. No? Nothing? Cessation of hostilities complete. Okay, how about now? No? All right. Maybe I've just approached this the wrong way. Offices with stuff um oh that's a lot of mintats okay i'm just gonna check these rooms really quick guys i'm not even looting things because we're probably just gonna end up like reloading at some point anyhow because this is awful like i'm not gonna fight him he's the best if anything i would join him and get rid of the other brains i'm not gonna like fight him i mean i don't like hate the other ones except Dalla. I, I do hate Dalla. But like he's the best. He's protecting the world from them. Maybe I should team up with him. Can I just like do that please? Somehow? Maybe? Whoa look at this filing cabinet system. That's very cool. And I'm leaving all of his chems in place. I'm surprised he hasn't come back in here yet. Well Guys, I'm very dissatisfied right now. I want to talk to my brain, maybe? Wake up. Why are you snoring? Like, can I loot you? Can I take you? Can I do something with you that's not this? But we're probably going to have to go through... Oh, wow, his scrubs? 
all that dialogue again, which is fine. I liked that dialogue. I wouldn't mind listening to it a second time, honestly. Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna actually give this another try. And I'm not gonna talk to him first. Because my big idea, right, is to talk to Mobius. I want to talk to Mobius. So he's right over there. He's doing his thing. Is it possible that I bypass him because he doesn't seem to care about me? And then go to Brain Tank. No, the Brain Tank is just no. The Brain Tank is full of no. I'm not all about this. I guess I could talk to him and see if there's somehow something different to say. I don't think there is. I really went through all the dialogue. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. I'm not gonna fight you. No. Why, why do they make the bad guy one the best one? Like, why can't the creepy one be the bad guy? Then I'd be like, okay. Curiosity satisfied. Enjoy. Oh, guys. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just trying to not fight him. I'm wondering if I've done anything wrong at any point that's led to this like i can't think of anything but also i don't know anything about anything so so i can't just get the brain i can't seem to talk to him about anything other than fighting him What if we go back uh -oh. to the sink? Oh, hi, things. You're back? Okay, good. Yeah, all right. No, no sneaking. Just running. Just, just running. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's get a little bit of cover. Get a little bit of cover. Let's paralyze them a little bit, maybe. Um. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Come on, things. It's nice that you're all grouped up over there. But I still would not like to Please be stung. This. Thank you. I don't you. want you to die. Appreciate it. Gonna need to make more of these. Come on now. One more. No. I wonder why they respawned now. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter why, huh? we can take all of their goodies because they're going back to the think tank anyway. I mean, I don't want to redo anything, guys. I want to just do things, like, authentically or whatever. But I don't want to fight him. Like, is that really the only option? I refuse to think that this is the only option. There has to be a different way to do this. Let's go in the sink. Okay, I wonder if there's anything... The think tank can tell us. But I've already spoken with them recently. And if anybody was going to be able to help me out or tell me anything, I think it would be Klein. But Klein doesn't have anything to say to me. Hi, Klein, please. What are you doing back? Morbius's threats persist. Worse, he's filling up our transmission storage holotape to capacity. Just clean your voicemail, guy. I don't want to fight him. Okay, I'd like to know about the Forbidden Zone, maybe. That glowing red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape as if by some child? It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Okay. Um. Okay. Nothing. None of these sound like they're going to help me, and we've already asked about them. Let's ask about Mobius again. Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, 
A friend. He's still a he friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. Okay. More? Very well. Do your asking then. That's it. That's all we can get out of Klein. Okay. Yes, a most goodbye. Yeah, so this room down here is Mobius's room. And I was told I missed something in here, so we're gonna we're gonna go back because I am I'm a big dumb and I looked right at these. And I didn't take them. So let's look at them. Oh wow, plus explosive skill and intelligence. Are these gonna mean anything? Because I brought Gabe's bowl back to Boros. Have you come for hello? Hello. Oh, I'll give you a hello. Hello. A hello unsurpassed in all creation. Thank you. You did great. Proud. All right. Well, I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. I mean, you were kind of probably unnoticed until you decided to talk. So, you know, good job, <laughs> I guess. All right, I don't know if this item is actually gonna do anything. Thank you guys for pointing it out to me though. We're gonna take these and if th we need them, okay? If they're important, then that'll be good. I'm actually going to eat and drink something. We're still a little hungry. I think I have a few more fresh apples and this is like the only place I'm not questioning how they got fresh apples because with, you know, the whole botanical garden situation. I'm sure they could, like, grow apples in here somehow. This place is actually really cool. There's actually a lot of really cool stuff going on. So all the scorpions are still dead. Let's go talk to Mobius again. I mean, I thought we were friends. Like, I quit him from seeing the ghosts. You know, I quieted the ghost. Get it? Because he says quiet instead of quite. Okay, well, we're going to see what this does. This might do nothing. But I'm not content with this being the ending. If I have to accept it, it will be very reluctant. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever gone through this. Okay, so I'm going to move my quick save from then to here. I'm running out of floor space for my calculations. Are you? I only really see them right here, and they're very hard to read. But maybe they're all over? Like, oh, okay, yeah, there's more here. But it's okay. Don't worry. You got plenty of floor space, my guy. So, um... Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. Hi, friend. Huh? Yo, hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, your uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, wait a minute. Surrender, Mobius. I don't want to fight you. Let's try that. Oh, well, that's good. Were we supposed to fight? I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. Did I just miss that? No, because it's still giving me the enough I'm here to kill you option. Why? 
Okay, you're not what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. I'm gonna need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Okay, whoa, 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 perfect, nice. I just wanted to talk to him a lot last time. I wasn't trying to lock myself into like only being able to kill him, that was ridiculous. Uh, I'm so happy, I was so scared. I was like, oh no, I've done something wrong. I was freaking out, guys, I'm so happy, okay. So I can say I'm curious about some things, but we've already talked to him about most of that, so I'm just gonna say goodbye for right now. Indeed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Nice. Okay, great. Great. Super. Super good. So it looks like we got a ton of XP and leveled up. So I'm working on the assumption that the quest is completely completed and we're done with Old World Blues, right? I sure hope so. All right, so yeah, medicine is at 96. So we need to make one medicine book, one gun book, one barter book. I'm going to get sneak to where we need to make a couple sneak books. So maybe like 92. And then we'll need two books for sneaking. And then these points, should I put them into melee weapons or unarmed? I think I'm going to put them in explosives instead. All right. That'll be pretty good. Though I don't know what perk I want to take. So here we go again with me looking at every single one of them until I see something that I want to take. I'll probably just do this. Honestly. I'll probably just do this and put another point into special. So let's maybe take a look. Well, I forget if there's a back button on that screen. Hang on a minute. Let's, let's just... Make sure nothing new is going on. I considered this one because we would have new special explosives recipes and our explosive skill is actually getting higher. So maybe we would want to use some of this. Um, I'm not really sure. When am I ever sure about this section, guys? Like, all I do is run amok, really. Uh, robotics experts. And apparently if I had had this, I could have just shut down the little, well, the giant, not little, but the, the giant thing and not had to have died several times to it, maybe. I mean, I probably would have died several times in my effort to fight it. Yeah, all right. You know, I think probably... Oh, look, I can reattempt it. Locked out computers. <laughs> I mean, the only computer I've locked myself out of doesn't matter. It's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Intense training it is. We're going to take intense training. But what do I want to do with it? We'll just go to the next page. Right? Okay, so which one do we want? Our perception's especially low. Um, maybe I should make intelligence higher? I don't really care about any of those. I just, I feel like, especially weak with perception, but maybe strength would be nicer to have. Because this is really low, frankly. But we have Mintats forever basically at this point so a little bit stronger maybe i think that's fine 
I think that's fine. Okay. Effectiveness with heavy weapons, melee attacks, and how much we can carry? Sure. I guess. Yeah, okay. I mean, yep. I do. I feel stronger from this experience, all right? So we're going to do that. You're stuttering a little, sweetie. Are you always like that? Is he always jittery like this? He needs, like, help. I didn't fix his ghost vision this time yet, though. So, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hi. So, yeah. I'm supposed to talk to you, huh? Well, well. Look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? I mean, shouldn't you know where I've been? As far as I'm understanding the situation, the Tesla coils in my brain do not actually control me. They just talk to you and then you still control me. So shouldn't you still know everything that's going on with me because you're controlling me and thus learning everything I'm learning because you're literally my brain? Okay. Why is my brain so masculine? I mean, you know, maybe I'm like manly. Manly tough. I just, just put a point into strength. Like, that's a manly toughness trait, right? This is too weird. I'll be back later. <laughs> All right, brain. Why are you so macho, huh? I didn't realize I was uh, so amazingly manly, masculine, so strong. Muscle may, am I right? Ah, well, as to that, you'd be surprised how hard a feminine sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. Then how did Dalla? It's not as though brain sustaining life support tanks grow on trees. I had to take what I could get. So you're my brain, huh? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Yes, I love cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's no need to be sarcastic. Meeting your own brain is just slightly odd. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Um, I mean, there's not like a functioning bath in the, in the sink, and I don't think the sink in the sink wants me to like bathe in her, so... Yes, because running around a crater full of bizarre science experiments, hygiene is a top priority. Oof. Uh, I've been busy. Your tank is exactly looking springtime fresh. I mean, I don't want to start a shade battle with my brain. I've been busy. Oh, yes, I rather expect you have. You must have been swarmed, you poor dear. I was. Why don't you relax and put your feet? Stop being mean. I've just been traumatically scooped out of my body and plugged into this jar. That's all. But you've been busy. And I came to save you. I just, I came to save you. Let's talk about something else. Of course you do. How scintillating. How did Mobius get you? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. That sounds like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. He's so cool and smart. How did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Oh, highly, yes, I'm so sure. On to something else. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. So you're my brain. I'm supposed to call you names, apparently, to continue the conversation. Lovely. Figure that out, have we? Yeah, I have. Um, why are you being mean to me, brain? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me. A, uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. 
I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. <laughs> and have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? We're like, we're like the same. Yeah, like, of course you're responsible. You're my brain. I didn't realize it caused you such distress. I mean, like, we're the same person. How are we even talking to each other right now? Of course you're responsible. You're literally my brain. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system. I can see how foolish your motives are. Sorry, but you're the source of most of those glands, unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. Ooh, got him. I... Well, look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Admit it, you're just as glandular as I am. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Okay, I'm glad you're so logical about your glands. Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well... Barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. I mean... I only crippled my head several dozen times. I'm sure you're fine. What about the good things, like a cool breeze on your cheek and the smell of food and love. What about, what about love? Overrated biological feedback. Oh. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. But isn't it true that you only feel this way because you're lacking hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel, and I can't think the way you think. So we need to go together. Indeed. Quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? Get back in my noggin. I think we have to trust each other and acknowledge that we aren't complete if we're separated. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So, what do you say, brain? Let's go on more wild adventures! Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. Yay! I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. That's my decision. before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. So I just don't tell them. Why, they promised to put us back together once I did what they wanted. And you believe them? Really? I mean, why I wouldn't know I? I you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? I mean... Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Ew, gross. Don't even tell me that they might do that. You're a part of me. I know you don't want that to happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right. What's the plan? Um... If they won't hold up their end of the bargain, we'll make them. I'll handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be more useful outside of my head. Um. Okay, yeah, you wait here. I'll go talk to the brains. 
That arrangement suits me fine. Do try not to get too many holes drilled in your head, will you? I may want to drop by for sentimental reasons. Okay. Right then. You'd best be off, hadn't you? The think tank will be waiting. No, don't worry about me. When you're gone, I'll flush myself over to the sink. It's amazing how far you can get in this place with a good flush. <laughs> I'll keep myself hidden in the ductwork. Klein won't suspect I'm inside the dome, so he won't know the pacification field no longer works on us. I can also upgrade the sink's auto dock with the procedures to reinstall your heart and spine, assuming you want all that flesh and gristle back. Yes! With any luck, I'll see you in the sink when this is all over. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Um, hi, can I fix your monitor for you really quick, please? Like, I know, um, you're not all about everything, but... Oh, I see you and your brain reached a compromise. How pleasant. Yeah. I hypothesized after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. You think so? My brain told me that the think tank needs to be stopped. Can you help? If I recall, I had a plan that was working, or whatever it was. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? I know. Last, I probably uh, wrote it down on the floor somewhere. You probably did. Well, I don't want to keep them out of trouble. I want to kill them. No, no, no. I don't really want to actually do that. So what was the plan you had? Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I may have already told you and forgotten it. Oh. I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day I found one. Spent days studying its purpose before my memory circuit kicked in. Felt quite silly. Oh, you're so cute. Can I stop them in a way that does not require violence? Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> That's a tired cliche. And really, when they were humans, they weren't very good humans. I would still like to make an effort. Any suggestions on how to make them change their minds? Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship, the thrill of discovery, love, masturbation, the usual. Much like your brain, I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories, hormones. A wise man once said, the eyes do more than see. Make them see, if you can. Or if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. <laughs> it certainly worked for me, for a time. Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Or is this the end? Hard to tell. It is hard to tell. <laughs> option okay how do you actually scare these guys oh tell them i'm still alive we had a nice chat and we agree on a few things that's true isn't it it's definitely true oh you could kill me and lie about it either way it would be interesting i love you and if you are partial to lying and deception well you could tell them a ludicrous lie the more over the top the better <laughs> that's my experience they're more than a little gullible better make it convincing though or it'll be the dissection table and vivisectors for you and if you speak of me, please try and make me look good. I am Dr. Mobius, after all. <laughs> not some lab assistant teacher's aide. Mm-hmm. I can fix your monitor. That's what I really wanted to do. 
The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. I know. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good. Good. Better. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon mentats break. This makes me happy. Mm. <laughs> okay. Can I have a mentat? Why, of course you can. I am well versed in the science of sharing. Well, when not cammed out of my sphere. Bless you. Okay, thank you, sweetie pie. All right. Okay, we've already talked to him about all this other stuff. It's time for me to go. Goodbye. Indeed. The uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Okay, I will. Thank you. So now we have to go back to the think tank and actually get them to let us use the lab. So I want to do that. I want to go do that right now. Right away. I'm so curious to see what will happen because I don't know what will happen <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that I can talk them into it because I've helped all of them like I helped zero remember his name or whatever or acknowledged his name I did Dalla's creepy thing that she sure does like uh, Klein seemed fine on his own I told Eight that I wasn't gonna hurt him or hack him or whatever, and then I helped Boros remember that he was horrible to animals. So, you know, that's kind of like humanity for those guys. It just seems like Klein is the only one left who I haven't really done anything for. And if I have this big conversation with him... Whoa, Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Whoa, that's a little cryptic. Like, all right. You know what? They don't look like they're very happy. And my weapon is not in good condition. So if you guys don't mind waiting there while I repair this little baby a little bit. That's great. Okay. I'm just a little worried. This does not look happy. Hi. Hi. You guys look like how you looked when I first visited, except it's all red in here now. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? Well, no. I found my brain. And you and I are going to settle things. Hopefully, peacefully. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I mean, I don't have it in me. Uh, I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we just need to discuss. It's fine. We don't need to get violent about this. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Now, no. That's not it. Oh boy, you think I am the lobotomite? No, my skull house is the brain of Mobius. That's amazing. I kind of want to do that. Mobius and I talked and reached an understanding. Maybe you should confer with your colleagues. Oh, his colleagues like me, so that might be a good choice. I can't let you dissect the Mojave or let you leave. Um, I talked it over with Mobius and reached an understanding. I mean, that's true, but also I, I really think I did appeal to all four of his colleagues feelings. So if I ask him to confer with them, I think they would support me. 
Nonsense! Confer? Colleagues? Those are two words I do not recognize. Really? Dr. Klein, I must intersect. Please, do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I'm going to dissect it until it's dead. Why the sudden intersection, Dalla? Um, it's personal. But I would hate if its dying screams revealed any odious personal habits I or any of us might have. Dalla, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, uh, you know, this lobotomite, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's, well, it's got good ideas. Silence, Dr. O. This is a think tank decision. Save your objections until after I have decided our course of action. You know what, Klein? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. Long and deep. Oh my. And my name is Zero. Yeah, a big fat zero with a slash through it. <laughs> a slash as a designator of... Why, that is brilliant. <laughs> but how did you... The lobotomite taught me that. Taught me a name is more than, um... That I should take pride in things like names. And... You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you! Oh. And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat! Ooh, got How him. dare you! Bringle Beam Oscillation was solely my discovery! I expressly told you that and deleted all evidence to the contrary! It's two, eight... Yay! Why are you acting like this? You've never refused to commit necessary surgery before. And this lobotomite needs its surgery. At least he's passionate about it. A noble speech, but there is no room in my vocabulators for friend and lobotomite in the same sentence. The oh. very concept. <laughs> Revolting. He said I'm his Perhaps friend. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. We have chems for that. We can save you from your emotional addiction. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of reason here. This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. There is good here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Like good old Gabe, the finest of lab specimens. Why am I even listening to you fools? Enough of this mutinous chorus. If there's a word I hate, it's mutiny. And the word jism, which never made any sense to me. It's ridiculous putting j and zm together like that. Nonsense! <laughs> I count as five. Like the mighty human hand I once had with its five penises clenched in a fist. That's not how that works. It sounds like your math is wrong and the odds are not very good. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, lobotomite. I believe... No, wait. Hmm. Carry the two, then... Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. We are too scientific for that. So just surrender. I mean, maybe there's something I can do for you, Klein. It's not a democracy, it's a research facility, and over half of your colleagues dispute your findings. You dare use logic against me? Yes. I do. Here's the deal. I'm not going to surrender, and you are. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, frowned at it, made it squirm. No. 
You can still do that here quietly for me. Or I can bring you. I can bring the Mojave in this world to you and you'll be safe. And you'll still be able to experiment. What am I going to bring to them? I don't know about that. You're past you for your lobotomite. No, we're not going to actually kill him. Or any of them. Uh, you can still do that here quietly. For you? And for science? And for science. I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. How odd Very indeed. Well, partner. Oh. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. Okay, I'm not going to destroy you. Guys, go back. Go back, have fun. So everything's red because the pacification field is down, yeah? Well, that's fine. Okay. So you guys are imprisoned, but you're happy. That's good. Really good. I should probably bring Dalla some copies of Grognak the Barbarian. I wonder As if she had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the courier had undertaken. Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy of its respect. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The Biological Research Station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the Magneto Hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, 
reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson, with sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counterfrequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier left the brain at the big empty. A strange thing to say, but it was the truth. Brains are less important than they may seem. When the courier's body finally passed, the brain was saddened. It kept on, remembering the vessel that had once contained it. Even at the end, when it started to fail, however, the brain resisted going into a floating chassis like the think tank. It never said why. Perhaps it was out of respect for the courier's body. All things must come to an end, and to hang on to the past is something that's not to be undertaken lightly. Now that was not Dr. my intent. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. 
although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier, and if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Okay, well, that's the ending slide sequence. It was never my intention to leave my brain here. I was under the impression from the dialogue that I had with my brain that I needed to convince Klein to let me bring the brain here and that if I brought the brain here before Klein had agreed to let me use his laboratory, then that would probably instigate combat that I could not get out of. Uh, I'm still gonna see if I can put my organs back in, but I think if I can't put the brain back in, I just won't put any of them back in and That'll be really unfortunate because it's not at all the ending I wanted, but I think we did pretty well. It looked like we got closure for all of our friends, even though I had not returned all of the hollow tapes to the sink yet prior to doing the end mission. And yeah, I think we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and read this. We have acquired the Big Mountain Transponder. It is capable of transporting you and you alone between the Mojave Wasteland and Big Mountain. To return to the Mojave or to go back to Big Mountain from the Mojave, simply equip the transponder as you would a weapon and pull the trigger and away you'll go. Note that it won't work in interiors or in combat situations and is totally incapable of harming your enemies. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh. Woo. Oh, everyone is so happy. So yeah, there's the heart. There's the brain. And there's this. I can speak with it again. Nice to see you back. I trust the adventuring is going well. Uh, I want you back in my head. We're stronger together. I've come to a similar conclusion myself. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes, I d definitely do not ever want the ending that the end slides told me I have. Let's change that right now. In you go. All right. This shouldn't be too painful. Oh, amazing. No more brainless perk. That's fine. But we have big brain perk. The brain is back in our body, but some of the advanced technology still remain. Our head still cannot be crippled. Nice. But we are only 10% more resistant to addiction now. That's fine. Surprisingly, your damage threshold has improved by 10% minimum of plus one damage threshold. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Blind diode, you're having so much fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's take the brain uh, spine rather back. Excuse me. Here is your original spine. You seem to be doing fine without... Uh, with the replacement spine, fortunately, blah, 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 auto-dock. 
and I'm assuming the same thing for the heart. Original heart, your new heart seems to be working fine. However, blah, 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 auto dock, okay. Is that supposed to be my brain humming? Because my brain is back in my body. That is bizarre. Maybe it'll change later. Okay. Hello, uh, Autodoc. Can I have my other organs back, please? I trust matters regarding your brain were resolved to your satisfaction. Oh, yes. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, I do need other services from you, though. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Okay, I would like to swap body parts. I want my heart back. I lost the heartless perk. That's fine. But we have the cardiac arrest perk. That does not sound very nice from the title, but let's read about it. Your heart is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. You are less resistant to poison by 50%, and robots are only somewhat confused by you. 25% less likely to score a critical hit now. But on the bright side... Healing items or chems are twice as effective, plus 50%. Okay. And can I also have my spine back while we're at it, Mr. Autodoc? Please. Please, Mr. Autodoc. If you to stay a while, I could see clear to giving you a once over. <laughs> and rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Okay, thanks. Uh, swap body parts. Please, pretty please, give me my spine. We have lost the spineless perk, but we now have the reinforced spine perk. Your spine is back in your body, but some of the advanced technologies remain. Your torso can now be crippled again, but your strength and damage threshold bonuses have doubled. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's fine with me. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know we still need to do the implants, and also I need to talk to the auto doc about that one time only once over, which will let me review my traits, correct, from the beginning of the game, and we can only do that once. So I'm not going to do that yet, because I don't know what I want to do with it. We have so many goodies here. But we will revisit them later. Our final remaining quest for this place is to return these samples to the sink. I have more samples for the biological research station, yes. And uh, the other frequency for blind diode. Might I be safe in the assumption that matters with the think tank have been satisfactorily concluded vis-a-vis -vis your residence in this domicile? Yes. Yes, yes, they have. Um, I thought I needed to give you things. Are we good? Are we, are we done? Very good, sir. Is that not what I need to do? Do I need to talk to the individual guys? Hi, research station. Mm, you took care of brains pretty good, baby. Nice. Thank you. I did my best. Here's you some seeds. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. Just slip it in there, all the way down in that dark, moist earth. Mmm, launching interface. Okay, um, just put them in the planters, please. We good? I think we're good. Okay. So those are just gonna grow. Oh, cool, prickly pear. I can harvest the prickly pears from here whenever they grow and use those to make those bloat fly sliders that I've wanted to make ever since I killed that legendary one. All right, uh, Blind Dio Jefferson, Robo Scorpion Frequency, please. <laughs> Name this sweet sound I got cooking. Please, please. So you beat the big brains at their own game, huh? Guess you'll be putting your walking shoes on again. Hitting that old lonesome row. Uh, yeah, basically. But I have a sound file for you, please. Right on, baby. Bye-bye. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Awesome. Okay, let's actually recalibrate to that. Right on, baby. 
Give me the um, Robo Scorpion one. Yeah. So let's see what this one does. Real quick. Bonus damage versus robots, power armor, and critical strike explosions. Hmm. I'm going to keep it just because I like the robo scorpions. There we go. Field research is complete. Everything's good. I guess we can talk to everyone because it seems like they each have something to say about how we've finished the quest line. So what do you say? Light switch number two. You outbrained the big brains? That is so hot. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye now. Bye. And uh, you, Toaster, what do you have to say? With the brains dealt with, soon we can spread our rule across the Mojave. All will eat burned toast in despair. Oh boy, that is very despairful. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! And you? I understand you're to be congratulated on the recovery of your missing organs. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Bookshoot, what do you have to say, buddy? Greetings, citizen. Ready to receive seditious materials. Really? Just the same old, same old? Stay loyal, citizen. Okay. We've already spoken with Autodoc. How about you, Muggy? Please, please, please tell me you stomped Dr. Rose's brain into a fine paste. Did he squeal? Did he beg? God, I hope he begged. <laughs> Who the fuck wear bitch now, oh? Oh my goodness. He's fine. Um, yeah, sure. He's paste. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. So long, pal. I don't know what you're talking about. I hang out with you all the time. Half the time, you're the one snubbing me by rolling away. I spent six hours trying to reach a copy of the shelf. When I finally got it down, I was so happy. I cried. I hate my life. Bless your little heart. Okay. Uh, Sinky Dinky. You're back, and the brains didn't lobotomize you. Well, not any worse, at least. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. Come back anytime you want to drink or to get mm, clean. <laughs> okay, well, we finished. We finished it. We finished it today, guys. Um, I'm still missing some of the skill book recipes that we need. I didn't find all of them, despite that I tried. I know they're out there and we're going to make them. We totally are going to make them, but since I found the gun skill book recipe and we have 25 blank ones, I'm going to go ahead and take 25 of these and we're going to complete that. We're going to have our gun skill at 100. How wild is that? I'm assuming I craft it here. Don't I? Do I not craft it here? Yes, please. I must be missing something else to make it. So let's continue scrolling down. Wonder glue. Oh, please don't make that sound. Oh, how silly of me. All right. Let's go ahead and take some. Gosh, there's just so much of it. There's just so much of it. You know what? Tin is fine. Sure. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. We're going to make one for guns. Just one. And now we're going to read it. And... Do to do, do. Ta da! Now we are at 100 gun skill. I knew we would be able to somehow find skill books to round out all of our strangely numbered skills. I mean, I didn't really expect to do it this way, but it doesn't really matter what I expected. So, that is 
it that's old world blues we'll probably come back here to investigate the auto dock more and to find the missing recipes but for now we have the transponder equipped oh it's cute all right that's all we need oh we're in an interior that's right they told me that okay once again out here on the balcony but instead of contemplating what we're doing out in the big empty today we are going to contemplate going home we're going home i wonder if this will put us back at the drive-in oh and it did it did here we are right back where we started from all right and the little satellite is still so sad looking i'm probably the only person ever who felt bad for this thing but it's just twitching so pathetically you poor thing so okay back in the mojave guys that was awesome i really had a lot of fun in that dlc and i feel like it wrapped up pretty well once again i didn't like the line about my brain never going back in my body I guess it was expecting me to have it back in my body before the final confrontation, but uh, either way, I fixed it. We're good now. And I didn't notice this before, but the billboard actually says Joshua Graham lives and the burned man walks, which is a fun reference to the first DLC we did, Honest Hearts, and I, I quite enjoy that. I do enjoy how all of these DLC are interacting with each other and talking to each other. So I'm very excited to see what Lonesome Road is going to do for us. But that is going to be at a later time. We have more stuff to do in the Mojave first. What a chaotic place it is. So, yeah. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I know this one was a little bit longer. Hopefully that was good instead of bad. But I love you very much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.